Hi friends, welcome to RK Soft Academy. In this tutorial session, I will uh, teach you how a select query get processed in Oracle. Okay, so uh, our uh, discussion is uh, on uh, how a select statement or select query is processed inside the Oracle server. Okay. So this is very very important and uh, if you uh, uh, you have to uh, we uh, actually we have to know the internal architecture of Oracle database uh, to get the uh, understanding in detail for this topic. So we'll uh, learn in detail how a select uh, statement is processed by the Oracle server internally. Okay. So now I'll start, uh, but before starting, I'll uh, just uh, want to sh say that uh, if you know have no uh, knowledge about the what database or what is Oracle or what is RDBMS, you just watch my uh, videos. Uh, there are many videos in my YouTube channel. Uh, from the basic level to the advanced level uh, so you just watch out uh, my uh, uh, video tutorials uh, uh, the basic video tutorials are there like uh, introduction to dbms and introduction to dbms part 2 uh, there are two parts uh, just watch one by one uh, you will get to know about uh, what is data what is database what is a database management system and uh, what is a rdbms or relational database management system what is what is oracle and why oracle is called rdbms so all these things you will learn in the those videos you just watch uh, those videos uh, if you have any uh, if if you don't have any prior knowledge about the data about the database or about oracle database okay so that's all I have to say and uh, I'm coming to this topic uh, for today uh, that is how a select query is processed internally by the Oracle okay and now uh, uh, I'll, I'll uh, for that I'll use a, a um, just I'm giving a uh, I have to draw a picture for that. So, so uh, now uh, let's. Uh, now I have to. Uh, so, Oracle is basically uh, the. Oracle database has two major component one is uh, the instance and other is the uh, database or data storage okay so Oracle has two major components one is Oracle database instance and Oracle uh, database storage so uh, Oracle what is Oracle instance Oracle instance is a um, a large block of memory uh, structure and also it includes the background process okay so uh, Oracle instance, uh, uh, this is the uh, instance. Uh, so Oracle instance is a uh, cont uh, contains the large block of memory, uh, which is called the SGA or System Global Area. Okay, and uh, with some uh, background, uh, also it includes uh, background processes, uh, some processes which are called background processes. Okay. So I'm writing here SGA, SGA. This is the SGA, the mem, uh, which is the uh, memory uh, of Oracle database, and this is the Oracle instance. So this is the uh, Oracle instance and uh, so oracle instance contains a large block of memory structure and uh, um, uh, a number of background processes so i am just uh, so there are the processes like uh,
so i'm uh, making it easy uh, so i'm not uh, uh, so i'll just write here the process name so that is smon so next is pmon and next is ckpt next is db wr and lg wr those are the main processes uh, oracle instance have okay and there is a uh, process called server process and uh, i'll come to that uh, okay now uh, or an oracle instance is uh, com uh, consisting of a uh, memo me large block of memory structure that is called sga and uh, um, uh, a combination uh, a number of background processes uh, so this background processes includes smon pmon uh, that is a system monitor process monitor ckpt that means checkpoint db writer is for database writer and lg uh, lgwr for log writer okay so this is uh, the total uh, uh, structure of a oracle instance and uh, this is the oracle instance and inside oracle instance we have uh, uh, components uh, like uh, so i am just saying okay so this is called uh, th there are uh, uh, you know oracle uh, uh, memory structure have sev uh, several components and this uh, the first is uh, uh, called the shared pool so this is called the shared pool which has been shared by all the users this part of the memory is shared by all the users who are get uh, working with oracle database connecting to oracle database okay so this is shared pool uh, and uh, the shared pool has uh, two parts also uh, one is a library cache library cache and the second part is data dictionary clash okay data dictionary cache so one is library cache and one is data dictionary cache these uh, two component uh, makes a shared pool uh, so uh, okay now uh, come to this uh, uh, this is the database buffer cache uh, so this is uh, database buffer cache so uh, this is the database buffer cache and other components are like Uh, this is java pool this is large pool and this is redo log buffer redo log buffer okay so uh, the oracle instance consisting consisting of various components which i have already shown you and uh, now i uh, will discuss uh, this is the complete uh, structure of oracle instance uh, so uh, which consisting of the large block of uh, memory uh, which is called say, sga or system global area and uh, a number of uh, processes which are called background processes okay so these are the background processes i am just writing here background processes b a c k g r o e n d processes uh, so this is the internal architecture of a oracle memory uh, structure okay now uh, uh, um, 
I'll show uh, what uh, this is the Oracle data, uh, database instance and I'll show you uh, uh, about that Oracle database storage okay so now uh, I'm showing the Oracle database storage here so uh, a Oracle database storage have uh, several uh, physical component uh, or files like first one is data files uh, so these are data files so this is uh, data files and next is control files and next is uh, reader all read all log files okay read all log files so these are the main files but uh, there are uh, password files and parameter files also but uh, the uh, for this uh, DA, uh, select query processing i am just uh, uh, showing this component only uh, so these are required okay so now uh, i will show you how a sql statement is processed okay so uh, uh, when a application or user uh, connect to the oracle database so this is the complete structure of oracle database this is the um, memory components uh, uh, or uh, of oracle instance and this is the uh, physical data storage okay so physical data this is the physical data storage okay so oracle data storage So there all the uh, physical uh, files are there okay which uh, resides in the uh, disk okay so uh, this uh, component uh, oracle instance or oracle data uh, data storage uh, completely uh, makes the oracle database uh, so i'll uh, now explain how oracle uh, query or select query is processed uh, so uh, for that i have to uh, so when a uh, application let's say this is an application so this is an application or user so user connects to the oracle database through a application right so this is a application or you can say user okay uh, fine okay uh, now uh, so uh, in the next uh, actually uh, i'll uh, make it into uh, i'll make it in two parts uh, so that you will uh, easily understand so in the next part i'll explain how oracle query is processed inside the oracle database okay so uh, in this part you have understood uh, about the oracle internal archi architecture about oracle instance and oracle data storage okay fine so in the next part i will discuss about the how oracle uh, uh, query or select query is processed internally by the oracle okay so just keep watch my videos uh, tutorials and uh, give a like if you uh, get uh, some knowledge from my video and uh, subscribe my channel so that you get the notif notification for my next video so thank you for watching my videos and uh, uh, just keep watch my next video okay i am